Introducing first, fighting out the dynamic mortgage concepts, Red Corner, Aaron Lopez. Staying in the ring for our final kickboxing match of the evening. This in the 130 pound division. Normally I talk about the 130 pound fighters, the guys around the area of this weight class being the fastest that there is and having the great condition. But man, these guys have a lot to live up to to that fight that we just saw. And you know, we've had some fights in this one. I'll tell you what, a lot of guys with their debut fights, their second or third fights, JR, and, you're, and what you've seen so far, and you made a point of it early on, when you get a young fighter in here, guys that have had less than five fights, and you see a, a fight go to the third round, see a fight go the distance, it's such valuable experience for their next fight when they're just starting out. Absolutely, just ring time is learning time, and these guys getting that in there early in their careers, and uh, you know, it speaks a lot to the gym, the camps, the training partners, the nutritionists, the medical team, chiropractors, et cetera, Absolutely. that go and help these guys out and be ready. Um, what we're seeing from guys that are debut fighters used to be what we'd see from guys that are ready to leave the amateur ranks and go pro. And his opponent, putting out the Larry H. Miller Nissan on 104th, blue corner, Jason Scott. Hill the tape here, Aaron Lopez, we saw him come into the ring. The younger by two years at 27 versus 29 for Jason Scott. A Little bit of a height advantage by three inches for Lopez. Eight and three in Muay Thai for Mr. Lopez versus the two and zero. Jason Scott, he lists himself as the freestyle fighter. Jason Scott in his profile picture there, looking a lot like Good. Ben Askren. I was just going to say that, man. <laughs> I, I wanted to beat you to it. <laughs> it fares better because Ben only lasted well, yeah, five seconds that, last that night. That didn't go so great for Mr. No, Askren, did it? And looking at Aaron Lopez's entry video, threw a sweet crescent kick there, man. I mean, that, that, that's a piece of Obviously, uh, throwing it against a bag or throwing it against air, but the form is there, and I uh, really liked how that looked. So, Mr. Scott hoping to keep his undefeated record intact, but going up against that experience. Yeah, advantage. 11 fights. And these guys will be like lightning, I guarantee you. Lightning in a bottle. Yes, indeed. Cardio for days. We'll take about two breaths per round, I think. Ladies and gentlemen, our seventh bout of the evening is brought to you by Saratoga Casino Blackhawk. Let's meet our fighters. First, fighting on the Dynamic Mortgage Concepts Red Corner from Denver, Colorado, representing peak kickboxing and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, Aaron Savage Lopez. <clears throat> Some great artwork here tonight as well, JR. Indeed there is. And his opponent, Fighting on the Larry H. Miller Nissan on 104th Blue Corner from North Platte, Nebraska. Please welcome Jason Scott. Listen, he's from Nebraska. A lot of tough people in Nebraska. <laughs> Tell <laughs> you that all right, gentlemen, sure. we went over the rules earlier. I expect a clean, fair fight. Listen to me all times and protect yourself at all times. Let's touch gloves and get after it. And Mr. Lopez with the zombie stare. Bit of an intimidating look there. And rushing across the ring looking to th get yeah. things started is Scott. There'll be no touchy gloves yeah, here. Yeah, not wasting any time. Here we go. Both fighters trying to test each other out here quick. Again, three two-minute rounds, just like boxing. So these rounds will go like lightning. You got to score when you can. Spinning, spinning back fist missed by Lopez. Nice job by Lopez of missing that kick and continuing with the flow. Yeah, that's key, JR, in continuing with your attack and being able to flow out of that. Sometimes you see somebody miss and counter. They, they get awkward. They get off balance. It, it, it opens them up to a counter. A lot of front kicks early on. Oh, we talked about the pace that there was going to be, and we're seeing it here, and these guys keep this up all three rounds without difficulty, I promise. 
Well, there goes that hair. Came down a little <laughs> bit, and all of a sudden, it's out there now. Didn't take long. The good thing is, he's lasted longer than five seconds. <laughs> Solid low kick for Scott. Yeah, Jason K Scott continues to press the action here, now into the corner. Lopez is a little calmer, has not thrown as many kicks or punches as Scott has. Scott, a lot of work in the clinch, though. You can tell, uh, and by that I mean gym time, working right. in the clinch. You can tell anytime they get close to having their arms wrapped around each other, he starts getting really busy with the knees. He's landed a couple really solid strikes to the outside of the thighs of Lopez as well as to the rib cage. Le looping left hand and miss. Scott goes for the overhand right, backs Lopez into the corner. Lopez takes a couple of shots, now backing up. I told you, kids from Nebraska are <laughs> tough. Lopez, Lopez was looking for a spinning attack, but Scott just kept pressuring forward, didn't give him a chance for it. Didn't allow him the space that he needed. I believe we're seeing Mr. Lopez receiving instructions there. So. Boy, that, that minute makes a huge difference. Oh, JR. gracious. Let's take a look at some of the some of the action here. And, and Scott simply has just been a little quicker to the punch and been, been busier. Scott does not hesitate. There's no no waiting for an opening, no, uh, you know, I'm going to hope something happens. If, it, if it's not something that presents itself, he goes to make it happen. Very offensive-minded fighter. Coach has got to love that. Absolutely. They can't win if you're not throwing anything. <laughs> Ooh, nice oh, nice head kick. Head kick. Was, Boy, blocks. that came up fast. Yeah. yeah, we heard a bounce off the glove. Scott had his defense in place nicely, but it was man, there kick. was, yeah. Went with a spinning crescent kick right there, and Scott had got just enough to put him off balance with a shot to the with the waist. Nice low kick by Scott. Again, as you said, Scott not with a lot of hesitation. He goes for it. Yeah, he does. He's just always pressuring forward, not waiting for anything to happen. Definitely a trait you like to see in a fighter. Makes for action-packed fights. Right hand by Lopez, caught Scott there. Goes for the big left hand. That one grazed Scott, <laughs> came across his face, catches him off balance. That won't be a knockdown. That was a slip. slip, yeah, agreed. Scott came down with his head a little bit low. He's got a little bit of delay. He kind of skips with that front kick, JR. He does. He's trying to set it up with just a touch more power than it would have otherwise. Yeah, Lopez now starting to find a little bit of the range by going to the head. Nothing's really scored, but he's finding the range. And I, and, you know, we, we kind of expected this with the experience of Lopez, that eventually he's gonna be able to start dictating the pace a little bit and seeing the openings and maybe landing the more telling strikes, but Scott just hasn't slowed down at all and hasn't, give, hasn't really given Lopez a chance to put that experience to use. Yeah, and you know, some fighters are tough to hit, JR, <laughs> and he seems like he's a tough fighter to hit. Yeah. And again, it's because he's always stepping forward, putting something in your face. Putting pressure on all the time, so you're, you're almost forced to counter. <laughs> you can win a round in the last 10 seconds. Great job, Scott, by tying up. And right now, you know, I, I'm looking at Aaron Lopez, and he's got it. He's got to win this round decisively, I think, JR. Agreed. And it was a nice tie up there by Scott, too. Very technically precise around the belt line of your opponent. In Muay Thai, quite often you don't want to tie up around the head or the shoulders. You want to tie up around the belt line, pull the opponent in, try to get him bending over backward. That shuts down a lot of the knee striking ability that they have. So Scott showing some very precision oriented technique here. Checking out the Larry H. Miller Nissan replay here and 
really the story of it has been Scott's pressure. Touch of gloves, nice sportsmanship. And then I kill you. Then you go. Oh, a headshot landed. Yeah. And right now, Lopez has got to put the pressure on now. There's oh. that crescent kick. That crescent kick came right up against the temple. That was a nice kick. <laughs> and Scott acknowledges it. He's like, yeah, I yeah, saw that. That was pretty nice. <laughs> that was OK. Yeah, that reverse crescent came and grazed him. And saving grace for Scott, he came forward with the momentum and knocked Lopez over. Corner Lopez now calling for forward pressure. Don't see a lot of those attacks in MMA, certainly because, Jared, if you miss with some kind of like a crescent kick, it leaves you in a vulnerable position. Yeah, that, that point where your back is turned. About a minute to go in this fight, minute five seconds. A scoring left by Scott as he weaves forward. Lopez, Lopez hits him with a nice right. Wow, nicely done. And then again with the back fist. Got to tell you, though, Jason Scott's doing one thing. He's not allowing Lopez to capitalize on the strikes he does land with. Oh, and again, Scott had his gloves up in place, but Lopez tagged him with the first kick and the second kick. Spinning back fist as he stepped forward. That one misses again. Scott with the tie-up. They begin throwing knees and push back into the corner. Lopez, no wasted time, no chamber, no wind-up on his kicks. It's just boom, bam, it's upside your opponent's head. Well done by Mr. Lopez. Yeah, close fight early on. 25 seconds oh, left. And another Lopez head has got to go for it here. Lopez has got to get score here in the last couple fights. If he can, last couple seconds of this fight, Scott continues to wade in. This will be a closely called fight depending on what the judges saw. A quick little underhand left like an uppercut by Lopez scored. Scott comes over the top and then almost leans into <laughs> a kick. Almost. Ooh, oh, another he kick ate that there. one. Scott showing off his toughness. He's taking a couple of head kicks in this fight. I'll tell Bell you what. rings, ends the fight. Judges got some work to do. Yeah, if, out of all the fights tonight, that might be the closest that might to be a the draw closest I've seen. Agreed, yes. We, we saw the first fight called a draw, which it wasn't. It was a judge's error. It was 29-28. This might be a draw. Checking out the Larry H. Miller Nissan on the 104th replay here. And it was the story of the fight. Scott pressuring forward. Lopez, very precision oriented in his techniques. Very nice job with his kicks, but the pressure of Scott was just relentless all evening long. A few times Scott had his gloves in place to block the head kicks. A couple of times it was just his hair blocking the head kicks. Absolutely. And there, there was a lot of shots that Scott threw that didn't get through. When you watch that replay, Lopez had scored on two quick bang, bang shots. If the judges saw that, this is really going to be a close fight. No knockdowns in this fight. How pressed are they with the kick like that? There, yeah, there's one of those head kicks we talked about. Just no wind up, no wasted time, no wasted energy. You just bang, I'm going to put it upside your head. Take this right foot, put it upside your head, and there's nothing you can do about it. Come close, on, close come fight. on, Billy Jack reference. Billy, a little credit I'm here. I'm going to put this foot <laughs> on that side of your face, and there's nothing you can <laughs> do about it. That's it. Yes, sir. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judge's scorecard. Judge Thrasher scores it 29-28, Lopez. Judge Ramirez scores it 29-28, Scott. And Judge Short scores it 29-28, declaring your winner by split decision, Aaron Savage Lopez. Mr. Aaron Lopez going home with the victory by way of split decision. We said it was close and it can't get much closer. No. Congratulations, sir. We'll uh, see you in a moment after we get a word from our sponsors in your post-fight interview with Bailey Winters. I'm back here now with your winner, Aaron Lopez. How's it feel to get that victory tonight? It feels great. I've been working nonstop. I like to thank my team so much for pushing me, helping me grind just day in and day out. I feel like I never stop, but then, you know, I get to come in here on two weeks' notice and put on a show for all you guys. So thank you all for coming out.
It was an action-packed fight, a lot of back and forth in there. What was your game plan going in? Uh, just to really stick and move. I couldn't really find any information on his uh, like kickboxing background. I had a lot of MMA to work with, so we just kind of, you know, stay on the outside, don't let him grab you, and keep working. A lot of respect at the end of that fight. It ended in a split decision. What did you think about the judges' scorecards tonight? I mean, I can't argue with the judges. The best thing is, is not to put it in their hands. So, you know, thanks to them. Thanks to everybody for coming out. A big thank you to Jason Scott for taking the fight, coming out from Nebraska. Thank you, man. Hell of a game opponent. You're always an exciting fighter to watch. Can we expect you back in that ring soon? Absolutely. Hopefully uh, soon we'll maybe be getting in the cage. Who knows? We'll see. All right. Anyone else you want to thank before you go? Uh, first and foremost, i got to thank God. Thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Without him, I don't have these abilities. Uh, again, i like to thank my team. i like to thank my family. I know it's hard to deal with me when I'm in the middle of a weight cut, kind of a jerk. So thank you, guys. Um, uh, send my team, send my family. Everybody at Personal Shoe and Martial Arts, thank you guys for all your love and support. And everybody, thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Becca. Thank you, Sparta, for always having me. You guys are awesome. Thank you all. Congratulations, Aaron. Great, Great fight. Man.